Today at work, my manager defended me thoroughly against an out of order customer. Story inside. What's the nicest thing your co-workers have done for you? I work in a supermarket cafe and I have mild eczema on my forearms. For anyone who doesn't know, eczema is a skin condition where your skin is flaky, red raw, scabbed up, sore. My eczema is visible at work and no customer has ever complained about it ever up until today. I took food over to the shithead customer and after I walked away, he called my manager over and said that I should cover up my eczema because it was putting him off of his meal. My manager's face instantly changed and he looked so angry. He came over and told me what the customer had said. I felt extremely offended and wanted to cry. This customer has essentially said I was so off-putting that he couldn't eat his meal. My manager went over to the customer and in the most stern but polite fashion, said not only have you deeply offended my worker but you have offended me. Eczema isn't contagious nor is it unhygienic. If you feel as if my worker is putting you off of your food simply due to his skin then I ask that you leave this cafe and grow up. The man was about 30 years old and he had been well and truly put in his place. I couldn't stop smiling. I was in for my last day of work before going on a big vacation to Ireland my first big vacation in the two years that I've been with this company. I mentioned to my boss my Spartan goals of never paying for a room and never going out to eat once. Kind of both as a budgeting thing and to make my trip more adventurous. He gives me a sizable bonus right then and there, tells me to buy a drink on him and send him a photo. I told him I would, but I don't have a camera. He walked into his office, grabbed one of his nice cameras, and let me borrow it for my trip. F yeah. When I was 17 I was a dishwasher at a cafe. Some lady wasn't satisfied with the amount of avocado on her sandwich, but instead of complaining to the cashier or the cook, she decided it was my fault. She comes behind the counter, surprises me by grabbing my shoulder, and starts to berate me on the poor service while waving a sandwich in my face. I'm dumbfounded standing there with rubber gloves on holding a sponge and a spoon. My boss hears the commotion from the back, quickly assesses the situation, and runs the lady out the door. From inside I can hear my boss threatening the lady with trespassing and assault, all the while grilling her about why she thought the dishwasher had anything to do with her sandwich. This isn't a co-worker story but I think it's in the spirit of your question. Years ago I worked as an assistant manager at a large shopping mall based video game chain. I was well liked by the customers because I gave honest advice on games based on the customers gaming preferences and I was low pressure sales. Customers often called the store on Thursdays or Friday mornings to ask my opinion on new releases and get trade in values for games before they came in on Friday nights. One day my district manager was visiting the store and walked in mid phone conversation. I knew the customer on the other end of the phone well as he was a regular and from my tone the DM assumed that I was talking to friend during store hours. He was P. As soon as I got off the phone he spoke to me condescendingly, not yelling, but certainly in an inappropriate tone, about how irresponsible it was and not to set a bad example. Before I could say a word back. One of the regular customers who was in the store walked up to him. He told my DM that he only came to this store to buy games, that he would only buy them from me, and that he was treated exactly the way the customer on the phone was. When he bought games he felt like he was taking the recommendation of a friend and not a salesperson. My DM thanked the customer, shook my hand, apologized, and a few months later I was promoted to store manager. It felt really good to have someone who appreciated my hard work stand up for me. That says a lot about the character of your DM that he was able to about face and apologize like that. Working at Hollywood Video about 8 years ago and we got a new district manager. He had transferred to Hollywood from the Dollar Tree and he was a total of shat. While I was mopping the floor he pulled me aside after he had done an inspection of our store. He told me that I would be scraping gum off of the sidewalk outside and scrubbing the walkway for the next few days. My manager heard what he was telling me I would be doing and came over. She looked right at him and said, don't we usually have people that come and do that? He decided to tell her, yes, but they are too expensive. So I want her to do it. She then proceeded to tell him off. A short rundown of what was said. Last time those cleaners were hired. The company paid them about $15 an hour. My employee will not scrub sidewalks for one stroke three of that. She took a promotion without a pay raise because of you. You never bothered to even give her a raise when her 90 days was up. 
So no, she will not be doing anything for you. Do not ask any of my employees to do anything beyond their job description, especially when we pay other people far better money to do it. You can leave now. The regional manager was then called by my manager. We didn't see the DM for a while, but when he did come back, he did it with the people to clean the sidewalk. I was working at an office in London a few years ago as a temp. Everyone gets a day off on their birthday but I was a temp so I showed up for work like normal. A few hours into the day, a co-worker came up to me and said the boss wanted to see me in the boardroom. I thought I was fired. My colleagues were all there and sang me happy birthday and there were three birthday cakes there and a gift. I was truly touched. I had known these people for less than a month and they did all that for me. A week later I was fired. D. I worked at a chain video game retailer during the Xbox 360 launch fiasco. Understandably, a lot of customers were upset that they were not going to be receiving their consoles. I had one customer so enraged that he threatened to strangle me with the controller wire. As I was biting my tongue from telling him that it was a wireless controller, my manager took off his name tag, said, I'm on break, and chased the customer out of the store. Awesome manager. Oh. I kind of wish you had been able to point out the wireless bit, but your manager sounded awesome. This didn't happen specifically to me, but I was there when it happened to my friend, Lynn. We work as female lifeguards at a city-owned water park. It's a small park. Four slides, lazy river, lap pool, kiddie play area, and most of our patrons are regulars. Despite the family environment, we occasionally get creepy older men who hit on the lifeguards, a large chunk of whom are still in high school. Once, there was a man there, with his 10 year old daughter, who would spray splash water gun the lifeguards in an attempt to get our uniforms and suits wet. One of my friends ran into the break room in tears after he came up behind her, sprayed her back with his daughter's squirt gun, and said something along the lines of I've never fricked a ginger. When do you get off work? Our boss, Bob, an amazing man who was essentially a second, or only, dad to all the guards, comforted the girl for a few moments. Then, he stormed out of the break room, waited until the man was outside the gates, and confronted him. Bob grabbed the man by the collar of his shirt, shoved him against the wall, and said, if you ever step foot inside my water park and make my lifeguards uncomfortable again, I swear to god I will beat the crap out of you. She is 16. 16. You're lucky I don't file a police report for harassment. Never saw the guy again. I've never had more respect for a boss than I have for Bob. Edit. For clarification. I did not use real names. I feel sorry for his daughter. I mean growing up with a father like that who doesn't respect women can't be a good influence on her. This happened at a Starbucks. An irate half drunk woman, age mid 40s, just went off on the barista, saying she made a crappy drink, that she was a loser, that she was gonna go beat a manager and get her fired. I was on the till and the manager was right behind me, witness to the whole mess. He overwhelmed her with his booming voice and told her to get out, that she was banned from the store and that if she didn't leave immediately he'd call the cops. She was stunned but still defensive, saying a few choice words to the manager. However, the situation didn't escalate further because the lady's daughter was there and she pulled her mom out. I was utterly sick and throwing up about every 10 minutes and I was scheduled for an 8 hour shift, 3pm to 11pm. One of my co-workers saw how horrible I was doing so he took my shift off the clock so he wouldn't get in trouble for overtime and so I could go home and rest. He had been at work since 8am and was ready to go home at 4. TL. DR. Co-worker worked 15 hour shift 7 of them off the clock so I could rest. Crap, if that's the kind of measures that have to be taken so an utterly sick employee doesn't have to work while throwing up every 10 minutes, there is something seriously wrong with the management at that place. I once stupidly took a multivitamin on an empty stomach and threw it up 10 minutes into my shift night stocking. I was promptly sent home despite my protests that I was fine. I work at a call center, and a few years ago when I was fairly new, a customer was so inappropriate with me I started crying. He said something to the effect of how I should know men would never come near me while on my period. I work at a pest control company. It was ridiculous. The call center director was walking by right when this happened, calmly took my headset, 
and told me to go take a break. When I returned, all of my co-workers were facing my boss with their jaws dropped in shock at whatever was said my boss handed me my headset and told me not everyone was meant to be one of our customers that man definitely was not. Been there 5 years and the manager still brings it up from time to time I always tell him I'm happy to transfer those calls to him any day, and he always says he's glad to take them. Manager win. In college I worked ticketing at a live performance theater. We were frequented by cranky old people so dealing with incessant bitching became a normal part of the job. My co-workers and I always wanted to tell them off, but we also wanted to remain employed. One time I was working the side entrance of theater, which you can only enter if you already have your tickets in hand. Otherwise you pick your tickets up at the front entrance. One of my co-workers, there to see the show, walked in right behind an elderly couple. The couple did not have their tickets with them and threw an absolute fit when I asked them to go to the front entrance and pick up their tickets. The man was yelling at me and calling me all sorts of names when my co-worker finally nudged past him and stepped up to me. The customer gave her a how dare you sort of reaction and my co-worker said, the theater is for civilized people, and if you're not going to act civilized then I'm not going to treat you as though you are civilized. The old couple finally went around to the front and my co-worker got free concessions that night. Old people are the worst. They seem to think that the rest of us place rules to inconvenience them because we are buttholes but they love to yell and complain about things that they, and they alone, believe should be rules. I'm glad your manager stood up for you. Once, I worked in a high street news agent and I'm hard of hearing. I wear hearing aids too. I was on the till, served a customer, looked at the till to get some money out and the customer asked me something. I turned my head and asked him pardon. He then loudly replied why has this shop employed a defi as they can't hear the customer. My manager was on the other till sorting something out. He turned round in disbelief and shouted at the customer and got him to leave. I'm deaf and I used to cut hair. I had some extremely rude customers who got up out of the chair and asked for a different stylist when they realized I was deaf. I communicate very well but can't listen to people ramble about their personal life. I guess some people think they deserve that when they're paying $15 for a haircut. I was working security for a D1 school and was in charge of 30 plus other security guards. We run traffic in and out of football games. It gets a little sketchy when 5000 plus cars are trying to get out of the same point of entry, and half of them are very drunk excited because of the game. We were doing the usual routine and had to stop a line of cars in order to let another line start going. A big SUV was very impatient and was honking and cussing out one of my guards. I went and took her place in front of the SUV and made it wait. The driver then got irate and started inching forward. He then hit me, a little, with his car. I turned around and Hulk smashed, a technical term, the front of his hood leaving two fist marks. He then threatened to call my boss, which I did for him. And when my boss got there and heard the story arrested the man for assault with a deadly weapon. Usk Mike mad. Usk Mike smash. This didn't happen to me, but my dad who is an RN, the nursing home long term recovery center where he works at had this really racist drug addicted old white lady. One day she called the nurses station demanding that the raghead come and give her pills. My family is Indian. My dad wasn't there but his co-worker was and she went into the ladies room and basically told her off. My dad learned what happened afterwards from another co-worker. I work at a batting cages and mini golf place, and as a girl, I tend to get hit on a lot by sketchy dudes. One time, a guy was being particularly annoying and my boss came up behind me and put his arm around me and asked the man excuse me, what did you say to my daughter best, boss, ever? For a few years the hours I worked made it pretty difficult to get a hair cut, as a result I just cut my own hair. One day after I cut my hair the other two guys I worked with remarked on what a nice job I'd done. The week flies by and on Friday I mention that I've got a date tonight. Without hesitating one of them walks up behind me and grabs the 4 inch long chunk of hair I missed, tugs on it, and says, well you might want to have someone cut this for you first. The other guy looks at me and says, oh yeah you've been walking around with that all week, we just couldn't decide how to tell you. Maybe not the nicest thing but something that sticks out. I worked at McDonald's whilst at 6th form college. 
aged 16 18 and UK. On my break I got my meal and with it a large coke. Now I was freaking around and chatting to whoever was on till and as I went to walk to the staff room the tray slipped and off with it went the coke. All over the floor. Where the customers queue. With the store manager stood right there. Oops. The manager laughed as I sheepishly went for the mop and instead grabs me a fresh coke. Takes the mop and tells me to go eat my dinner. Likely calling me an idiot as well. The factor manager. Who generally will sit in the office doing managery stuff. Will grab the mop and clean up after an idiot employee in front of customers rather than have the employee clean it on his time. Made my day. Even though I was probably beat red. Fantastic manager. Great guy. Considering I was the boss in the situation. I don't think this counts. But I like this story anyway. I was standing in the hallway when a young woman comes around the corner. Extremely angry. She's saying. Quite loudly stupid B. Acting like she can't hear me. I'll frick her up. I just stand there for a second and say excuse me. Miss. Is there a problem? She turns around to me and says yeah. That stupid B at your counter acted like she was deaf and couldn't hear me and ignored me and went into the back. I processed what she said for a moment before I finally said. I'm sorry. Mom. But she is partially deaf. And there is a very good chance that she didn't hear you. I'm sure she meant no offense. I can help you. Though. She slapped a hand over her mouth and her eyes went wide. Oh my god. I am so so sorry. She ran into her movie after that. I told the employee about it and she confirmed that she hadn't heard anyone trying to get her attention while she was cleaning. She laughed about the woman's reaction. I'm glad she was sorry. But for an adult she shouldn't be acting like that in the first place. When I worked at Best Buy we had an older woman come in and ask for help with her camera. I worked in portable electronics, it was mainly in the MP3 or gaming sections, and was only helping customers in digital imaging because they were packed. Also, I was 18 at the time and had only worked there, as my first job, for a little while. This old lady seemed nice when she came up to me, but then it took me a second to understand her problem. She was asking for help on a film camera. This was in 2010, so I needed to take my time with it. I hadn't even touched a film camera in probably about 6 or 7 years, so it was kind of iffy for me. This lady freaked out at me, so when our camera guru was free I got him to come help. Since I was new, and the store was relatively quiet at that point, I hung around to listen to how he explained the issue. Like we're trained to do so we can actually learn about what we're selling. The lady got all huffy and basically asked why I was standing there and said I was useless. Needless to say, my co-worker went off on her, refused to help her with anything else and kicked her out of the store. Definitely felt nice to be stood up for by someone who was actually one of the top employees in the store. I used to work at Chucky. Cheese is for crap. 2 plus years. Long time. I enjoyed it fairly well. I have the heart of a child and I loved working with kids all day. Adults freaking suck though. In a hoe. We more or less had nobody scheduled to work Valentine's Day. Assuming that nobody would bring their kids to Chucky. Cheese is on a Tuesday night on Valentine's Day. Wrong. We had a massive wait. I worked the cash register. Salad bar. Worked the merchandise counters. Ran kid check and made a few pizzas. There were lines everywhere. Pretty rough night. It was a Tuesday and I had school the next day. But I wasn't gonna get out of there until 2am at the earliest because of closing. After everyone leaves, the shift manager gets us all together and tells us he's going to go smoke. We had 20 minutes to do as much cleaning as we could and then he'd come back in. When he came back in, we could take whatever food we wanted, run it through the oven and take it home, and leave. He stayed until like 4am cleaning the whole dang store by himself so we didn't have to stay all night. Great guy. My kid's birthday is Valentine's Day, and we did a Chuck E. Cheese birthday party a few times. It seems to me that there was always a crowd. My boyfriend's best friend, and only father figure, fell very ill suddenly and was transported to a large hospital 300 miles from home. My boyfriend was very upset about the whole ordeal, knowing they only transport someone if they are very ill. He heard his friend would be in the IQ and things didn't look good. His friend's family didn't like my boyfriend, because of the close relationship they had, and his family weren't anywhere as close to him. They were jealous of the friendship and tried to hurt my boyfriend because of it. 
Anyway, they tried to keep the information secret from him, so he called the hospital pretending to be his son from another woman, and that's why the family was being prickish about everything. He got the scoop from the doctor, his friend was dying. I felt so bad for him, knowing he wouldn't be able to drive to say his goodbyes as he didn't have a vehicle at the time. I had just started a new job and didn't have any vacation time built up. I called begging my boss for time off. I didn't care if it was unpaid. They came up with a solution with a few co-workers and we essentially traded days off so I didn't lose any pay. I rushed to my boyfriend, told him to pack a bag. We were going to say our goodbyes to Mike tonight. We drove, way too fast, to see him. Just in time. We said our goodbyes at 3 in the morning, stayed with him for a good number of hours, and he passed later that day after we snuck out to avoid his family. We were just happy we got to spend time with him and say our goodbyes to a good friend. Says a lot about someone willing to pull extra shifts and put off your days off. We work 6 in a row, so someone you barely know needs your help. I love my job and co-workers. I have worked with a lot of awesome people but the one time that really stands out in my mind was when I was deployed in the marines. It was back in 2007 and I was 6 months in of a deployment to Iraq. This deployment was rough for me and I wasn't doing well and had a birthday coming up. Birthdays aren't exactly great times for me. I feel like they are cursed and I was absolutely dreading this one as I was emotionally at my limits. My fellow squad mates knew my birthday was coming up and knew I wasn't doing great and knew there wasn't a lot they could do for me but apparently had been determined to make the best of it. We had been ordered to a checkpoint to overwatch a bridge. This checkpoint had been worked on and was actually a nice little spot by the time my birthday rolled around so I was okay with being away from any normal downtime. My ex, who wasn't my ex at the time had sent me emails full of videos from my friends and family back home wishing me a happy birthday too so I had just planned to take whatever downtime I had to watch them and call it a day. The morning of my birthday my buddies made me as great as a breakfast as was possible with the crappy food we had, even going so far as to grab wood and grill it up so it was nice and warm, completely surprising me, and we all joked and laughed during the morning, afterwards I went and watched the emails having dragged my laptop out with me, something I normally didn't do, and realized that I had one of the best birthdays I had ever had and it was in large pun 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 that birthday still lingers in my thoughts and I will love my buddies for the end of time for that. I know it doesn't seem like much but where I was at emotionally at the time, I needed it and they didn't just deliver but made it amazing. I worked with a sweet middle-aged Asian lady at one of my bank jobs. I work as a teller. I'm not John Dillager. She was always such a sweetie but didn't talk to the rest of the staff much. One day I was having a rough time and she pulled out this little hand crocheted pouch to put my metal name tag in. It was always scratching up the crap in my bag. It was really sweet and thoughtful of her. If you hadn't said anything, I would have thought you were JD, back from the dead to steal the poor Asian lady's life savings. Something similar happened to me. I work at a bank in the UK as a clerk teller if you're American. Basically, a customer who was living off of benefits came in complaining that his benefits hadn't come into his account and it was our fault. Tried to tell him that we don't handle when someone else pays you it's up to them to do it, and that he should ring the government benefits helpline to see what's happening. Apparently he already has and they told him that it will be processed the next working day. He did this the day before, a Friday, and it's now a Saturday. So we tell him that will be Monday since Saturday is a weekend and the bank does not count this as a working day as nothing is processed at clearings. Check CTC. He proceeds to flip and swear and bang the table etc at me and a colleague, and calls us twats etc. My colleague is reduced to tears and I walk away as I was getting annoyed to the point I was about to snap at this rude, benefit scrounging scumbag. My manager comes out annoyed and impromptu recites your actions toward my staff members today was unacceptable. They are not here to take abuse from you and thus from Monday any accounts with us will be terminated and you will receive a check in the mail with the balance. His face drops. He goes into a state of panic like you can't do that. You're not allowed and what about my bills etc. It'll get loads of late payments. My manager just replies you should have thought about that before you were abusive to my staff members I'll ask you now once to leave the branch now or else I will call the police. He left. 
his account was closed. He was sent a check for a grand total of £0.46 which was his balance, and I couldn't stop smiling. Best part, realizing that on Monday his benefit transfer bounced. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.